neighborhood. So we had it all mapped out. Because later on in, the, you know, in that farming business, I decided to start hiring people to go out. And so I knew if they came back too early or came back too late, there was something that wasn't quite right. So, but there's several things a person can do. I'm always a believer that, that getting in the neighborhoods and talking to people works 100% of the time. I, I believe it works 100% of the time. Because there are people thinking about moving. And it's pretty difficult. I mean, I can't pay Zillow enough money for them to find them for me. Right? So the best way I can find them, and I don't want to compete with people that are paying tons of money to, to come up top on Google. Because in my experience so far, that's been a loser. I haven't been able to pay enough money. I mean, honestly, if I could pay a million dollars a month and make $1,100,000 back, I'd start paying a million dollars a month. Who wouldn't, right? I have to find the million dollars, but. <laughs> but so, you know, in this environment, and, and in all environments, I believe that getting out and talking to people is a way to make it happen. Now, this is kind of a trick statement, isn't it? Some of you know that. But, but I'll ask. Jesse, what's that say? Because if you don't talk to me, you're not going to get results. But read it to me. What's it say? Oh, to sell more homes, we must talk to more people. Yeah, very good. What's it say? I'm sorry? Your turn. What's it say? Read that. To sell more homes, we must talk to more people. Okay. That isn't what it says. You know what it says? But what's it say? Read it to me. <laughs> it means, it means Read it in harmony here. It means to take action. I know what it means. But what it says is to sell more homes, we must talk to more people. Period. That's the end of story. That's the end of the story right there. We have to do it. So, so now I might ask myself, how about this? How can I talk to more people and enjoy it right now if I ask myself that question you know what some answers are going to come to me they will so so the systems outlined here let me tell you why we're doing it they're they're there to create a duplicatable business duplicatable is so important in the real estate business if if I get a call from a past client and the past client says, I got 36 homes to sell. And I go out and I list and sell those 36 homes. What are the chances that is very duplicatable? I mean, unless I hang out with past, unless I meet people that have tremendous amounts of properties, right? I mean, not very duplicatable. If I go out and I find somebody who, gives, who becomes a lead, and I follow up very well with that lead, and when it comes time for that person to list their home, they choose me. That's duplicatable, right? I could redo that. You know, years ago, we used to feel that the open house was a total waste of time. We used to feel it was a total waste of time because we were of the mindset that said we cannot affect or control the amount of people that come into it. Right? So you have an open house, 20 people could show up. You have another open house, one person shows up. And then we later on found out that we could affect the amount of people who showed up at an open house. So at that point, when, when we realized we could affect it, it became a viable source of business. Because we went out in the neighborhood ahead of time. We told everybody we were going to do this. We had neighborhood reports. You know, you know. So we did things to attract people. I remember the first time we did that, I'm talking to Debbie. I said, has anybody showed up with a flyer yet? She says, yes. I said, okay. We got that person to the door. 